In this 3 minute game review, we're looking at Old World. So hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Old World is a turn based 4x strategy game that plays like an interesting cross between Civilization VI and Crusader Kings. The game's art style and map design is beautiful, with stunningly drawn portraits and images worthy of a historical epic. The sound effects were basic, nothing to write home about, but the soundtrack was on par with classical historical strategy games like Civilization and Age of Empires. At its core, Old World plays essentially like Civilization VI, where you settle, populate, conquer, science or culture your way to victory. There are some slight differences though. For example, the game limits where you're able to settle and found a city. So unlike Civ 6, you cannot found an endless amount of cities all over the map. In addition, city development has no limitation on what you can or cannot construct, and resources in Old World are also much more detailed and varied. Old World also sports some key mechanics as seen in the Crusader Kings series, where you have to manage the interpersonal politics and affairs of your family members and your courtly enemies. Ensure that your line of succession is properly secured before your head of state dies of old age. The political mechanics in Old World may not be as detailed as the ones in Crusader Kings, but it certainly is enough to add a bit of an edge to basic 4x gameplay. Old World certainly is nothing new nor groundbreaking. In fact, most of what we see in Old World is pretty much a slight improvement over past titles like Civ 6 and Crusader Kings. But what sets it apart is that it combines some of the best elements from both into a deeply satisfying and addictive gameplay loop. That said, although Old World is a more in-depth incarnation of past 4X and grand strategy games, it inadvertently inherits some of the genre's biggest and most painful drawbacks. First and foremost is the tedious endgame management. When you have too many units, cities and political events to oversee, in addition, the large maps and oversaturation of things that are happening on screen, combined with an unfortunately over-detailed UI, absolutely bogged the game down towards the end. This game is definitely not for beginners of the 4X series. There isn't any story, but with the current variety of leaders and map settings, you can easily create your own plotline. At the end of the day, Old World is an ambitious attempt at combining some of the best and most addictive elements of 4X gaming. However, with the dream comes the drawbacks. To the developer's credit, there were obvious design decisions that were made in an attempt to mitigate the tedium of endgame that is present in so many 4X games. However, it is fundamentally unable to shake off the fact that having so much to do is fun at first but having too much to do becomes a chore later on. I would only recommend Old World to hardcore veterans of the 4X genre and have the time to experience Old World to its fullest. If you're craving for more 4X or grand strategy games, check out our other videos. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more 3-minute game reviews.